candy jar, candy dish lid. Whoa! Back at it again today in the gravel parking lot. You can see we have two more pits marked out. Yesterday's cleaned up well. It dated back to about 1920. Based on the property records, these should be earlier. We'll get them opened up and see what we can find. through the topsoil. There's some metal fragments, glass fragments, and some stoneware. And while we were digging, a bottle fell out of the side. It looks like an extract. We just got down into some kind of layer. You can see the soil color change. Machine-made extract bottle. Uh, dates back to about 1920. All right. Beer bottle. Jeweled top. So we have a drugstore bottle on the way out over there, but over here, there's a bunch of leather goods. I was cleaning this out, and looks like there's a pair of children's shoes. Nice. There's some other pieces underneath it. Maybe the family cleaned out their boot section of the house. Look at that. It's an old work boot of some sort. That's really cool. Right, and okay, that's newer than I was hoping. Circa 1925, a drugstore bottle. Hmm. Found some more boot fragments. And in the process of pulling these out, a couple more bottles exposed themselves. One's right here. Pull this out first. Another extract bottle, machine made. Same era as the others. And there's another one in here somewhere. When I pulled the boot out, I saw it. toiletry type bottle. Not great age, probably 1925, right around there. Hmm. So far it's not looking too great on age. I have confirmed we're in an outhouse pit. There's undigested seeds. The date range is about circa 1920s, but there's a few things on the way out, including a light bulb. So it'll help tell the story of the place anyway. Let's see. 
Hit the light bulb first, just kind of pop loose. Sometimes these will have the yeah, GE, so General Electric. That's what a General Electric light bulb looked like in the 1930s, 20s, fairly similar to modern day. All right. Another one. There it is. Condiment, uh, mustard. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh, mustard jar. Not sure if that label is legible. Hmm. We'd have to clean it up later. Anyway, there's one more sticking out here. Roots. Grabbing it. Another drugstore bottle. Again, 1920s. Ketchup bottle. 1920s. Caked with stuff. Probably Heinz Hunt's ketchup. There's a couple more here. This one looks like a ketchup. Oh, smaller, same age though. And this may also be a ketchup. Ketchup was a popular product around here, I guess. I was cleaning out one of the corners and this bottle came out. It looks like it could be some kind of shoe polish, but I'm not sure. It's Everett Baron and Company products. I've never seen one of these before. It's newer though, probably 1925, 1930. I'll definitely have to do some research. Watch my other episodes, you'll know that lime was thrown over these pits way back when to neutralize the smell. It's this kind of bright white color right there. The brown is outhouse remains. Look at that pattern. That's amazing. Fine china there. about four feet. Working around these roots has, has been brutal, but starting to get through it. Saw a few more things. Uh, this this one here has a partial label on it. Let's see if I can get it out. Let's see. Some kind of ketchup bottle. Hmm. Labels illegible. Looks to be, again, 1920s. Alright, now this one. Kind of wedged in there. Ketchup bottle. That one's encrusted hard. No label left on that one. Hmm. Now this big piece here. I don't know what it is. Maybe a lantern. This one might need a little more work. Oh, okay. Some kind of a generic jug. These held all kinds of things. Could have been liquor, syrup, extracts. Still working across the four foot level. Nice blue color. These are usually like a Vix Vapor Rub. 
this stuff and this pit's just encrusted on. Let's see here. Yeah, that's the Vix mark. That diamond. Another condiment bottle, ketchup. There we go, Heinz. Heinz Company. And a mustard jar. Hmm. What's that patent? February 23rd, 1915. That'll be a clue to figuring out what brand this was. Probably French's. This one looks broken. Broken drinking glass. Tumbler, I think they technically call these. And... Okay, that one's broken. This might have been a soda, a beer. All right. This pit is loaded. You can hardly scrape without something falling out. This little Vaseline jar. In the 20s or 30s, I suppose. And also, a Maximum brand comb. That's kind of cool. Otherwise, there's definitely a couple more ketchup bottles. And uh, another. And some other kind of condiment jar. Uh, what's this have to say? Design patented August 5th, 1919. Another clue to the manufacturer. Hmm. This pit just keeps giving. This green dish came out. I'm not exactly sure what it is. Reminds me of almost like a sake glass or something, but it has hall written on the bottom. Stamped on the bottom. Definitely a post-1920 piece. And another maximum comb. It's almost be in good shape. Otherwise, yeah, some kind of a perfume bottle. What's that say? Cutex. Probably belong to Mary Rude. Same as this cosmetic container, cold cream container. Pedestal base, it's kind of cool. There's definitely more, so in here, some kind of a lid, must be to a tea set. And a little tooled top drugstore bottle. This predates everything so far in the pit, so this must have been left over in a medicine cabinet. I'm sure a lot of folks watching have some expired medicine in theirs, so times haven't changed too much, I guess. Here's it. Maybe another ketchup bottle here. A couple more. This might take a minute. Yeah, another ketchup. This is just constantly packed with stuff. I was trying to take some scoops out and just bottles kept showing themselves. Uh, 
Dolly's Milk. Oh, it's a kid's toy for a doll. Dolly's Milk. Hmm. Looks like a little pill bottle of some sort. A little sample something. Maybe a sample perfume. Let's see. drinking glass. Yeah, it's just solid objects down here. Oh wow, okay. So this looks like, okay, it's a tooled top and it's still got the label. What's that say? Lotion. Blossom Lotion. St. Paul. St. Paul. So that's interesting. It's a prescription type bottle, but it's a lotion bottle. All right. Solid uh, drugstore bottle. Lyric. It's uh, the line of style of it. Lyric. Probably owns Illinois Glass Company though. Made it. I hope it's a ketchup bottle. Yeah! Look at that. Some kind of a chemical bottle, maybe hydrogen peroxide or something along those lines. Another prescription type bottle, a drugstore bottle. You know, everything here I'm thinking is circa 1930, maybe even a little later. This may be the last outhouse pit that was used before indoor plumbing, so. Oh, let's see. Oh. There we go. You hear more bottles down there, too. Another ketchup. Solid bottles of deer. Okay, that was broken. A uh, drugstore bottle and a another extract. Both machine made. Another machine made drugstore bottle. I'm literally having bottles fall out here. I was cleaning it out. A soda. Drury and Sons, St. Paul. This bottle. Property of. And never sold. These were returnable. This has a lip chip. That's likely why they discarded it. Oh, and it says Drury and Sons there on the shoulder. But there's more. This uh, yeah, little cold cream container. Get this brick out of the way. There's probably stuff in there that too.
<laughs> Standard plate. KT and K SV China. Hmm. We've dug these before. That's a little one. It's like a quarter ounce sample size, machine made. Yeah, looks like <laughs> can't even scoop without something coming out. This is a clear bottle, but it's got ink left inside of it. It's probably from the Diamond Ink Company, Sanford Ink. Again, machine made. We're in that era. I think just about everything we pull out here is going to be machine made. Same company, KT and K. Ironstone, I believe. On a plate, SP Company, Sebring, Ohio. All right, there's a plate fragment, I think, sticking out here a bottle next to it somewhere oh another extract hmm some kind of label left on it illegible though I like that pattern it's kind of cool Ivory color. GG or CC? Looks like GG. Alright. Might have some kind of transistor bulb over here. Oh wow. The glass kept everything inside in great shape. Look at that. Nice. I'm guessing that's off of a transistor radio or something. Amazing, it's been in the ground for about 100 years. I wonder if there's a brand on this thing. style. Must have had this one running in the house for a while. A oh, candy jar. Candy dish lid. Whoa! Leeds, North Dakota. Now we gotta find the base. Old 
serving platter. There's a lot of dish fragments in this corner over here. Lysol. Okay. The same company still in business. Bloomfield, New Jersey. What's this other one? Is this another drugstore bottle? Digging through the use layer, a few pieces came out. Another one of those early style light bulbs. This one's from the National Mazda Company. I believe this was originally Edison Mazda, Thomas Edison. I saw a couple others. It's broken, it's a broken jar. I think there was another one over here. Yeah, there it is. Another chemical bottle, possibly hydrogen peroxide. Some kind of cleaner. Hmm. I'm gonna keep shoveling. I tunneled it down to bottom. It bottom at about five and a half feet. There's a drugstore bottle, machine made, came out. There's a couple other pieces. Another chemical bottle. Possibly another ketchup. Full of groundwater. Down here on the bottom, you can see some pieces sticking out. Let's see. I found this one when I was tunneling down. Drugstore bottle, Lyric style. Oh, just looking up here, you can see all kinds of stuff. Let's see here. A broken beer bottle. And. Possibly a drinking glass. A broken drinking glass. Yeah, some kind of toiletry, I think. Hmm. Then further down on bottom here. Yeah, they should be a little older. It's a cork top, anyway. Machine made. Oh, I know this one. Castoria. This is a castor oil. Chaz H. Fletcher's Castoria. I'm a ways down here. Pulled up a couple more extract bottles. 
old machine made. And I think this is a full plate. I loosened it. And Let's see. Homer Laughlin, warranted 18 karat gold. I think they were a little stingy on the gold, but still a cool plate. All right, and another ketchup bottle. And there's a couple more bottles over here. There's one. Another ketchup bottle. Malt extract or beer or something. Machine made. found bottom and three of the sides and in the process this rolled out it's a Horlicks malted milk I just gotta find the final side now and this pit will be finished up still got a ways to go though this cool little one came out it's a quarter ounce size it says earache relief I think D144, maybe that's chemical. I'll do some research on this. I dig these a lot. It's kind of cool to see what these contained. The pit's all finished up. It was an outhouse pit that was five and a half feet deep, four by four. Circa 1930, here's the hall. Everything was very typical of a residence at the time. It's a toiletry bottle, some extract bottles, combs chemical bottles, perfume bottle, lotion bottle at the left, drugstore bottles, relishes, cold creams, some dinnerware, some pieces were ornate, others utilitarian, some boot and shoe soles, that souvenir candy dish lid, some bricks back there, ketchup bottles, light bulbs, tubes from some transistor radios, an ink bottle, malted milk, a soda, a couple beers. We'll get it filled back in and move on to the next one.